Make sure you watch this entire video for an absolutely free game breakdown. This one is for Saturday, September 9th, week two, college football. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like what we bring to the table. Go ahead and turn your notifications on. Some of these games come in late. And most importantly today, become part of that comment crew by commenting what you think. Maybe if you disagree with this pick, that's fine. Just give us your analysis why and let us know what you think. And the t-shirts have arrived, guys. So every video that we put out this weekend, we're going to be giving a t-shirt away to somebody who just puts our favorite comment on there. We're going to go through all the comments. Now, the trick on this is there has to be 20 individual comments on that video. 20 different people have to comment on that video for us to do this. So if the video has 18 people commenting and one person making two comments doesn't count as two comments, it counts as one. So if a video has 18 people commenting, nobody from that video is going to get selected for a free t-shirt. But if the video has 20 plus people commenting, we're going to pick one person from that video, our favorite comment, to get the free t-shirt. So this is something that we did a year ago. We're going to be doing it again to launch and kick off the football season. Um, if nobody knows what the t-shirt's like, Billy, grab me a t-shirt. Uh, they're in the cabinet. There's a couple big ones in there. If nobody uh, seen what the t-shirt was, we got one coming in right now. So stand by. Yes, sir. Stand by for the t-shirt. Bring it in. Bring it on in. All right. They're not here yet. I'm going to get into this game and the t-shirt's going to be here any second. All right. So. Without any further ado, we're going to be breaking down UCF versus Boise. If you guys know me, you might already know what I have on this game. You might want to call it a homer pick. I don't know. Here's what the t-shirt looks like, by the way, guys. It's got the Sports Profits emblem on the chest. This is like a big one. This is like a, a triple X. Um, so they're not this, you know, we got large, extra large, medium. And this is the back right here, informed winner's t-shirt. So if you guys uh, want that shirt... Let us know. We're going to be giving them away. All right. So UCF versus Boise State. Boise State got crushed in the last game. UCF got the job done. John Reese Plumley looking fantastic. They beat Kent State 56 to 6. It was a wrecking. They converted 9 of 13 third downs. Reese Plumley did very well. He put up 100 rushing yards uh 281 passing yards it's very good actually 92 rushing yards to be exact 281 uh passing yards very good stuff rj harvey looked very good the defense gave up 240 yards they gave up 95 yards rushing um just all good stuff around they look really good boise state on the other hand got manhandled by washington this was a michael penix show right here i was talking about him on my my podcast that I that I did guest appearances on this week, he the, all of the Pac-12 quarterbacks look amazing. That top tier, you know, you got Caleb Williams, you got Michael Penix, you got Cam Rising who hasn't even played yet, and his team's looking good. You got Bo Nix at Oregon. You got I can't really say his name. The Oregon State quarterback Yuga Yuga Lele or whatever, however you say his name. You got him. I mean, these quarterbacks are all looking superb i love what i'm seeing from them and, and don't forget shador sanders at colorado so the pac-12 is packed with quarterbacks right now um but anyway boise state got crushed to uh washington they put up a lot of offensive yards they just could not stop them on defense they were no match they gave up 568 yards no turnovers only one sack they gave up 22 first downs listen UCF's going to have a tougher slate now that they're in the Big 12. They're going to face some challenges. This game's obviously going to be more challenging than the next one. Uh, the Broncos did move the ball well against Washington. All UCF has to do is correct a little bit. You know, Plumlee did have a little bit of mistakes, a little bit of turnovers. He had a fumble and two picks. He needs to clean that up when he's playing against his better competition. But I still like UCF minus two and a half guys if the if the if the description says minus three and a half no 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 i'm looking at minus two and a half 
I know that sites like FanDuel and DraftKings don't let you buy points. So that's why on this one, I'm betting this one on BetMGM and I'm betting it on PointsBet. My two favorite sports books, BetMGM and PointsBet, and I'm buying it down to two and a half. Lock it and clock it. Bill just put up some games. I'm putting up this game. Our podcast with OSB was just posted. We just did a show with Bleacher Brothers. We're going to be posting more tomorrow. Um, stay watching, guys. We're putting up a lot of stuff for you guys to follow, learn, get tips, get picks, all that stuff. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow for two more free game breakdowns, one college, one NFL. I'll see you.